So let us solve one more problem. So first let me read the question. Find the angle between the curves y square is equal to 4x and x square plus y square is equal to 5. First let us find out points of intersection. After that the respective points of intersection let us find out m1 and m2. Applying tan theta formula we can find out the angle between the curves. Okay, Let us do the solution now. Given curves are uh, y square is equal to 4x. What does it represent? Yes, parabola. x square plus y square equal to 5. What does it represent? It is a circle. Okay, no problem. So now solving 1 and 2. Okay. So now in the place of y square directly we can replace 4x. Okay. So now put y square is equal to 4x in equation. 2. So now equation 2 becomes x square plus 4x equals to 5. Now it can be put in the form of a quadratic equation in terms of x. So this is x square plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. So by using factorization method, so this can be solved. So x square plus 4x minus 5 equals to 0. So now we have to split the middle term minus 5. What are the factors of minus 5? We can write um, plus 5 into minus 1. So that means the 4x can be split as uh, 5x minus x. So that means x square plus 5x minus x minus 5 is equal to 0. Take x common out we have x into x plus 5 minus 1 common x plus 5 equals to 0. So now again x plus 5 is taken common out so we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. Here we get two cases. So one is x plus 5 equals to 0. So we get x is equal to minus 5, am I correct? So x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. So at x is equal to minus 5, let us find out the y value from equation 1. At x is equal to 1, let us find out the y value using equation 1. So x is equal to minus 5, that implies here y square equals to 4 times x that means 4 into 5 minus 20. So y is equal to square root of minus 20. Square root of a negative number is not a real. This is the imaginary. So does not belongs to real number system. Or so we have to just delete this one. So this should not be considered. It has been discarded. Now for x is equal to 1. Let us find out corresponding value of y. So y square is equal to 4x. 4 times 1 which equals to 4. y equals to root over 4. That will be plus or minus 2. So therefore points of intersection. Points of intersection. Or P one comma two and Q one comma minus two. Understood. As we have evaluated the here points of intersection of the two curves, 
one is p 1 comma 2 and q 1 comma minus 2 at these respective points of intersection let us find out slope of the tangents m1 and m2 after that we can apply tan theta formula so now to find out m1 and m2 the both the curves ha have to be actually differentiated with respect to x so as to get their respective derivatives so now consider y square is equal to 4x differentiate both sides with respect to x d by dx of y square so 4 times d by dx of x derivative of y square is it is just like x square differentiation only but here 2y dy by dx should be written 2y dy by dx equal to 4 times 1 that is equal to 4. So now dy by dx equal to 4 by 2y which equal to 2 1 ja 2 2 ja 2 by y. Now let us find out m1 at p and at q. So now m1 dy by dx at p 1 comma 2 so equals to 2 by 2 equals to 1. So in the similar manner let us find out dy by dx that means m1 to the first curve at this point 1 comma minus 2. So that means now here m1 is equal to dy by dx at q 1 comma minus 2 equal to 2 by minus 2 which is equal to minus 1. Now let us consider x square plus y square is equal to 5. Second curve equation. Equation to the second curve has to be now considered. So consider x square plus y square is equal to 5. So let it be differentiated with respect to x derivative of x square is 2x plus y square is 2y dy by dx whereas constant differentiation is 0 am i correct so 2y dy by dx equals to minus 2x now dy by dx equals to minus 2x by 2y what is the simplification here Yes, 2, 2 can be gets cancelled. We have minus x by y. In this case, let us find out m2 values at respect to p and q. So now, m2 equals to dy by dx at p 1 comma 2. So that means minus 1 by 2 again m2 dy by dx at q 1 comma minus 2 that means minus 1 by minus 2 which equals to 1 by 2 ok now as we know the m1 m2 m1 and m2 we need to find out the angles by considering the different two cases that means two cases will arise case 1 and case 2. Let us find out uh, the angle between the two curves in case 1. So consider case 1. Let theta be the angle angle between 1 and 2 at p 1 comma 2 ok let us recall the formula tan theta equals to mod of m 1 minus m 2 by 1 plus m 1 m 2 so here m 1 m1 means 1, m2 means minus 1 by 2. So 1 minus of minus 1 plus of 
by 1 minus of because 1 into minus of is minus 1 by 2. Let it be simplified. 2 is the LCM, 2 plus 1, 2 is the LCM, 2 minus 1. 2, 2 gets cancelled. We have modulus of 3 by 1 which equal to 3. So, theta is equal to tan inverse 3. So, as for case 1, the angle between the curves is tan inverse 3. Let us find out uh, the angle between the curves in the second case. Okay. Let us consider case 2. Again, let the theta be the theta be the angle between one and two at q one comma minus two. Again, tan theta formula we have mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. Here see m1 means minus 1 have to consider m2 means 1 by 2. So, substituting here we have minus 1 this is minus 1 by 2 by you will be getting here. So, 1 minus 1 by 2. Now, we need to simplify this one now. Let us simplify it. So, this equals to modulus of 2 is the LCM minus 2 minus 1 upon 2 is the LCM 2 minus 1. 2, 2 gets cancelled. We have mod minus 3 by 1 that is 3. So, hence theta is equal to tan inverse 3. Hence, the angle between these two curves is tan inverse 3 itself only. So, in this way we can solve the problem.